So now let's see how we can work with rollover images inside of Adobe Captivate. So to work with rollover images, first of all, we're going to import an image right over here by going into image and images right over here. So I'm just going to bring in uh, this image right over here and rollover image uh, can be applied on top of this image or it can be applied on top of any graphics. So I'm just going to go on to objects right over here and here you can find that there's rollover image right over here. So once I click on this, what happens is that uh, another import photo window actually pops up. So you'll have to import the image that you want to show. So I'm just going to open this up right over here, just like that. So I can just resize this out right over here. Let me just resize this. And this is the image that uh, that is going to roll over right over here. So I'm just going to go around and let's say select this area and keep this image right over here. So whenever I roll over the mouse over here on this area, this image will pop up. Similarly, I want another image as well. So I'm just going to go to object right over here. I'm going to go to roll over image and I'm going to select this picture right over here, just like this. And then I'm going to select this picture out right over here resize this and drag it out over here just like this and then i'm going to go around here again and go to rollover image right over here and then i'm going to select uh, another image right over here and open that out as well so i'm just going to resize this out right over here okay so resize that image out let me just redo because I do want this image. So I'm just going to resize this image out right over here, keep it around this area as you can see. So I got three rollover images as you can see right over here. So let me just preview this. So I'm going to preview the project right over here, just like that and press the play button and you'll be able to see that if I were to roll over here, you see that picture, roll over here, you see that picture, don't get the other roll over, there may be some technical error right over here. Sometimes that happens when you actually undo and redo. So let me just go around into rollover image again and select the picture right over here and resize this out over here just like that. And I'm going to bring the rollover area right over here and keep the picture here as well. So I'm just going to preview the project again and let's see how that looks like now. So if I were to press the play button, I got three rollover images, as you can see right over here. And uh, that is how you can work with rollover images inside of Adobe Captivate. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.